Hello and welcome to Infinity. The magenta trick, what's that? Well, magenta is a kind of an interesting colour. It's an odd thing because it's rather bright and glaring itself, but it appears all over the place. And we can also think of it in strange ways. Let's just draw a picture here, just a square rectangle that'll do. Now, if we've got the colours up here, then what we want to do is create magenta. There's a kind of guideline here. If we just turn the green down, we get magenta, which is rather bright, isn't it? So magenta is a combination of red and blue. But the magenta trick, amongst other things, is about using green to control it. So if I turn the green up and down, I make the magenta, magenta more or less intense. I can also use the red and the blue, but as they come down, it just gets darker as well but in surprising a number amount of times where it's green you're controlling not magenta because magenta doesn't really exist in a red green blue model it's made up of a combination of other colors just to show you what you can do with this is you can actually create overlays like this and just change the blend mode if you go to some something like soft light you can see you create quite a strong magenta cast there but you can always turn the opacity and often right down, just have an interesting effect. But there are slightly better ways of doing this. A simple and a, another trick is to use the white balance. Why white balance? Well, because white balance has got one of the controls on it goes into magenta. And now if we just turn this up, you can see what's happening here. And one of the reasons this is affecting it is because Magenta is made up of red and blue. If you take the inverse of red and blue, the inverse of red is cyan. And where do you get a lot of cyan? In the sky. So playing around with magenta, you can affect cyan areas. And what colours do you get on the ground? You get greens, yellows, browns, strictly in autumn. But even in an ordinary green, you've still got a lot of yellow. Let's see that. So without this, I'm like this, just drop that off for now. Take the pixel viewer here and look, we've got green is the biggest color there. Obviously it's green, but not far behind is blue. Sorry, is red and blue is a long way behind. So this, there's a lot of green and red, which is yellow in there, even though it doesn't particularly look like it, but it means that yellow controls will affect it. Let's have a look at doing that with the selective color. So if I go to here, and select color. What selective color does is it first of all does a filter for reds, greens, blues and so on up here and then it changes the color in that selected area so it's a bit like a, a variant of HSL. So if I go up to the sky and say there is a lot of cyan up there which is up here. See there's the Blue is the clearly the highest, but green's then behind and red right down. So there's there's cyan up there. So if I go down here to cyans, but then change the magenta, look at what happens here. I've got a sky control. See the way that, that really affects that? And down here, this one's actually got yellows, but there are yellows in the greens as well. So if I go to the yellows control and adjust magenta, I've got a ground control here and it richens up colors like this. If you get something where it's maybe a bit too much, but I, I kind of like what's, what it's doing down, uh, down this road here, but not amongst the yellows here, I can simply mask it out. So I just take that one here, go to a paintbrush, pick the black color, and then opacity, um, maybe halfway, something like that. Let's see what happens when I paint on this. See, it's taking it out from there or turning it down because I'm only halfway. And I can leave it in the areas where I like it, like up here. So there I've got a much richer picture. Take that off. That's the original. And there you go. That's it. Just that tint brought up and it's just give, made the picture a little bit richer. And let's turn that off a moment. We'll leave it there just for fun and go down here to adjustments and put in a curves. And what we can do with this is these two things. You can go to CMYK 
and go to magenta separately here. And when you turn this up, you're going to get that magenta effect everywhere. Then you can mask out what you don't like. And the other way, it well, that's not so good. Turning it magenta looks better than turning it down. Or you can go to the RGB and go to the green. And RGB is different from CMYK because it hasn't got that black bit taken out. So the green effect is even stronger. So if you want a strong effect, see here, you just tint the green a little bit here. And even with that, I can go to red and turn up the red a little bit. I can go to the blue and turn up the blue a little bit. And there's another way of affecting magenta. Anyway, that's it. And thank you very much for watching.